Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 19th coaching log on the Uclan Coaching Experience module. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my strengths as a coach. In the previous one, I talked about the challenges I face. Um, in this one, I'm going to talk about the strengths that I feel like I have as a coach. Um, I feel like strengths are crucial, obviously, to have as a coach. Obviously, you need them. You need them in anything you do, not even as a coach, just as a person. Everyone has their strengths. Um, but I feel like if the more strengths and traits you can have as a coach, the better, um, obviously. And the, if you can start to build an arsenal of strengths and and build up that, that repertoire of having a lot of good key factors about you, you know, you, you, you're you onto a good thing. Um, so the first uh, strength that I'm going to talk about is my desire to want to improve myself and the players whilst in the performance environment. Um you know, I love coaching. I love coaching football. I see it as my dream job, as I've previously mentioned in previous logs. I see it as a dream job. I don't see it as work. In, you know, if I'm speaking to my family, it's oh, I'm going to coach. I'm not going to work. I'm going to coach. It's that mindset of, it's not a chore. It's not, a get yourself out of bed at six in the morning on a Sunday to go for work. It's, get up and coach and enjoy. Be out, being out on the pitch, and and watching and enjoying the process uh, for myself and for the players as well um you know i think that stems back to my willingness to improve as a coach and my desire to always be be, be getting better um i have this drive that i don't want anyone to be better than me and that's not saying a bad way and it's not a competitive way it's just my way of thinking that if i want to be the best i've got to work harder and look into different ways of coaching and, and, and stand out almost and I've I've got to improve all the time to, to stay ahead of the pack pretty much um, and I feel like the, the desire that I want to improve myself and the players is really highlighted in my sessions and you know the coaches and bosses have came to me and said you know really great session I love the way you're trying to do this and that and you look like you're really improving and the kids are improving all the time it's really good to see um, and it, it it's that that keeps me going, that kind of feedback and people realising and saying that obviously that's a bit extrinsic but it is what we need sometimes and I do find it as a quite natural strength to just constantly want more and, and keep improving myself and the players. Um, and I feel like I do this as well through uni as well, I do a lot of reading of books and uh, like football um, tactics books and, and different autobiographies and uh, and learning about the game as a whole as a as a kind of 360 kind of covering all angles aspect um and I, and I feel like it's a real strength of mine to just constantly want to be better another strength I'd say I have as a coach is my man management skill um I'm always honest whether that's with my peers uh, my bosses or my my players as well all three and the and parents as well, um, you know I feel like it is crucial um, to be honest with people in that, and because at one one point in time they are going to find out what you think, whether it's as a whole or as a personal, uh, you might as well be honest. And I feel like that's the best way to gain the trust. And I also find that when people are honest with me, I also respect them and trust them a lot more. And especially in a coaching environment and a high performance environment if you can be honest with a player and pull him off at half time and say you know keep your head up it's not quite working for you today but you know keep doing your thing you know go back to what's really good for you your basics so whether it be dribbling or passing and you can be honest and almost put an arm around them and help them I feel like that's only going to make make players better and help them to realize their full potential um I also look for I'm constantly looking for feedback from peers that's part of my man management skill um, and looking to act on it to improve um, and I feel like that's a really crucial aspect of coaching always wanting to improve and develop as a coach and learn from from an outsider point of view from a third from a third um, from like a third view almost um, of how I can improve from an external aspect um, and Gilbert and Trudel in 2013 uh, did some research on this and they say that critical reflection will lead to more efficient noticing for sport coaches as they increase their awareness of what matters so by highlighting 
by going to other coaches and, and saying, can you just watch me for this session and point out some things that I need to work on um, by doing that. Um, it makes me more aware and kind of focus on the key areas that matter during the session and during my practices and also for my own coaching ability. Another strength, I'd say I respect the players and I also earn their respect um, because it's important that both coach and player are aligned to the same aim. So I am very much, going back to my, my management skill, I, I like the term respect because, you know, it, it, it kind of points towards that everyone is understanding what the goal is and everyone's trying to aim for the same goal. You know, as long as you get to that same route, anyone can go that way, a different way. As long as you come back on the same path at the end, you know, that's all we want. And we want success, which is the end goal. And by respecting the players and then their respect, we align to the same goal. Um, and I'd probably my, say my last strength as a coach in this specific um, kind of self-reflection um, is that I like... I feel like a strength of mine is that I develop my own ideas and plans. Um, I like going against the stereotype. I like to mix my sessions up um, and my plans up to keep it interesting. The kids and the players enjoy the idea of not knowing what to expect when they first walk onto the pitch or the training pitch. Um, and that element of surprise keeps them coming back and they, they turn up excited and willing and ready to go out and practice and play. Um, and I feel like that's a huge strength of mine because too many coaches kind of fall into the, the pattern of a warm-up, the main part of the, feed, the session and then a game, whereas sometimes we will go in and we will use tennis balls and we'll use um, we'll use bouncy balls for coordination, we'll use the tennis balls as footballs, we'll use these big, really light-sized fives, we'll use them for handball and we'll use loads of different equipment and, and make it interesting and kind of going back to the idea that the players enjoy the idea of not knowing what to expect. But it also... Is gives me a desire to want to be the best coach. You know, if I want to be the best coach, I can't fit into a mould. I have to do something that will make me stand out and let people take notice and be interested in my sessions. And then kind of a couple of key strengths from that self-reflection. I feel like some of the key core messages that I try and promote and stuff that I stick to quite strongly.